Yeah, hello and welcome to this tutorial for MamoWorld.com. This is Matthias Müll and I want to show you how you place texts like this one here exactly on a line in a layout that you create with pins and boxes. So I have a little bit prepared here already to save some time. I have a composition with two texts, this main text layer here and this subtext. And for this main text layer I already created three pins, two here in the corners which I needed to create a box and then also one in the bottom center that I used to parent the subtext to it. Okay, now instead of the box we want to have lines, so I go to the box settings and set it to a horizontal line and change the anchor to be at zero and then I duplicate my box and move the anchor of the duplicate to 100% and now I have two lines. Now what can I do to place this subtext on this line? I essentially have two uh, ways how I can do this and which one you choose really depends on how you want to animate these lines for example. So the simplest thing you can do is you just move this text over the line and then in order to cut out the part where the text is from our line we just use a mat. So to create the mat we need a box, so for the box we need some pins, so I select my text layer, shift click on pins and say for, for two corners, no matter whether these two or, or these two here, I need some pins and based on these pins I want to create a box and since I want to use this box only as a mat layer, I don't need a shape layer, I can also use a solid, but a shape layer works also the same way. So I create my box and this is now a white solid by default and I just move this box over my line. So these are our two line layers and this one is the bottom one so let's give this a name line bottom and this here is the line top and for the line bottom we now want this box to be a mat so we set it to track mat alpha inverted mat which essentially cuts this box out of the line. And now in the box settings I can set some margins to cut more or less from the line as needed. So this is one very quick way of doing it and has a benefit that you have effectively just one line and it's a good idea to do it this way if you animate this line like one line and if you don't care for example that you have here a straight end of this and you don't want to have round caps. If you want round caps here for example or you want to animate these two parts independently it is better to have two lines and you can do this too. So let's delete this bottom line here again and also delete the box as we don't need it anymore and uh, what you can do is to say let's create two boxes for these lines and these boxes will use pins at the bottom of this big layer. So here we already have one, at this side we have none. So we select the layer, shift click on pins and say in this corner we now need an additional pin. Now we have here this additional pin and we need for our subtext these two pins are actually not needed anymore and now we actually want to have two pins here at the middle left and right. So I shift click and say I want to have here at the middle left and right two pins. And now we create one box using these two pins and we need shape layers again since we want to convert these boxes to lines in a second. Uh, here we have our shape layer box and we maybe change the fill to no fill at all and set the stroke color to this color here and set the stroke size to 10 to have the same settings as for this line. And now in the box settings we change the type from box to horizontal line and now make sure that we place the anchor at the very bottom such that it's positioned at this pin here. Now, now you can see we have one line going from here to here and probably we want to have some spacing here so we set a negative margin here on the right and let's hide our pins for a second. If you now want a rounded cap for example it's no problem to go in the contents of this box group, go into the stroke and set the line joint to rounded joint for example to create here a nice rounded end of this text. And this is now possible because we have not cut this out with a mat but this is really an independent line here that we can animate and create independently from the line on the other side. So to finish this probably we also need to add on this side here some margin to get it the same length as the top line and then we would create another line on the other side with exactly the same method to use this pen and this pen to create a box and place a line at the bottom of this box. So these are two approaches to create text in the middle of the line, either use one line and then use a mat to cut out the part where the text should be placed or create two independent lines using these pins here. 
Okay, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, my name is Matthias Müll for MamaWorld.com and I'm looking forward to see you in the next tutorial.